M has been one of my favorite artists of all time. As you can see, we have him here on the back wall. And today we are introducing Eminem to the Holla Squad tier list. All right. And the song that we are going with today is Lose Yourself. We're going to see if this is S tier. Some people may think this is F tier. I don't know. I don't know what type of humans going to think that. But let's see what tier this is. We're going to break this down with the chat. So let's get into it. So when the metal hit his mug, he just sunk in place. 100K holla, chillin' Bahamas. Come home to your crib and throw in your mama. What is good, Holla Squad? We are the Littest Squad on the YouTube platform. Listen, today we are back with another reaction. And we have Eminem, Lose Yourself, all right? This was one of the most iconic songs, I think, of my childhood, all right? And it was definitely up there. Is it an S-tier song, though? That's what we're about to get into today. We're going to break down a different parts of this song and uh what they mean to us and we're going to determine what tier this song is now if you come over to the tier list we have a tier list too s tier is i would listen to this forever and always no flaws and we have everything from that all the way down to f tier where you see listen i've never told y'all this but i've been in a wheelchair most of my life but today i got up for the first time to cut this off. And we're going to see where this song falls in that. But before we do that, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. Join the Holler Squad. We going up. All right. And if you want to join the live streams, all you got to do is hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when we go live. You'll see the community tab post and you'll be able to participate in the chats with uh, the rest of the Holler Squad. But let's get into this. See what my guy Eminem got for us. Let's get it. Building momentum right there, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to lie, with the instruments like this in the beginning of the song, it's almost an eerie feeling. You know that you're in for something, you just don't know what it is yet. Look, if you had... My man didn't even say any rap lyrics and it's got you like this. You know what I'm saying? That build up is great. But as soon as the dun dun dun, you got it, you have to do like this. It's like it's a, just a function of your body. It, it happens like subconsciously. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti. Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh. This this is a good writer right here, okay? Obviously, it's him and him. Because when he said, Bow! right? He goes into the bow. But on top of that, the beat also changes. Some instruments drop out. Some instruments come in. Now listen, for this to be about a movie, all right? Great writers can evoke emotion in you. you when you listen to this, you can... Think to yourself like, bruh, I, I've gone through this. I've had bad days. I've had to change X, Y, and Z. I had to triumph over. And this is a story about a fictional character. In the music, the moment you own it, you better never let it go. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. Very simple chorus, but very impactful. Gotta give an A++++ plus 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 to this chorus. This world is mine for the taking. Make me king. Close to postmortem. It only grows hard. Now my my man is flexing his his penmanship right here. All right, changing the the wordplay. He's he's definitely checking all the the hip hop boxes. All right. How many times did y'all have to listen to this for this to get ingrained in your brain? Lose yourself in the music. The moment you want it, you better never let it go. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance. That makes it, bro. That's what takes the song from a low tier to high tier. I know some choruses I done listened to 75 times. I still don't know the words to. This one, you probably listened to this song one time. Lose yourself in the music. The moment you at least got that down pat ingrained in your brain. No more games. I'm a change what you call rage. Tear this and roof off like two dogs cage. Ooh. I was by the fact that I can't get by with my nine. Bro, who doesn't feel this? Even if you was in college, all right? Sweeping floors. 
You could be sweeping floors, dusting bookshelves, you know what I'm saying, working at the library, whatever. The fact that I can't get by with my nine to Like, unless you was born with a silver spoon, you can't relate. I, I, I don't know how you don't feel this. The impactfulness of these lyrics when you hear them. And this is a song that I've heard over a million times. The first time you hear this, this will rattle your core. I mean, even if you was born with a silver spoon, something had to be troublesome in your life where you say, I overcame. And it's no movie, there's no Makai Pfeiffer This is my life, a teeter totter caught up between being a father That little thing, the teeter totter cut It all reels you in Every lyric that has been spit just reels you in more and more uh, And starting from the instrumentation at the beginning na, 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 na. It's all reeling you in The first verse goes How did, how did the first verse start? On spaghetti he, Ready, mom, spaghetti. What is the first line? You, you ever listen to a song and once you get the first line, you can say the rest? Listen, take my Eminem card. Please, somebody take my Eminem card. But this trail has got to go. I cannot go. <laughs> his palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms is heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom, spaghetti. It all reels you in. His palms are sweaty. Whose palms? Knees weak, arms is heavy. There's vomit on his He literally broke the person down at the beginning of the song, right? Obviously, we're talking about B-Rabbit here. He broke them all the way down in the first song just to build them all the way back up. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, when we talk about what tier this song is, I'm gonna mention why that's very important. This may be the only opportunity that I got. You better lose this house. That piano. All right, listen, listen. It's time for us to head over to the tier list. You know what I'm saying? Let's pause that real quick. All right, listen. Now, I know in the video I mentioned how he broke the person down in the beginning. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms is heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti, he's nervous. But on the surface, he looks calm and ready to drop bombs. But he keeps on forgetting, right? This person is fumbling a bag. So if you're in a part of your life where you feel like you're slipping, falling, can't get up, Shout out to DMX, you know what I'm saying? But if you're in that position and you hear the song, you can identify with that part of the song. And it goes all the way to the third verse. Uh, I'm going to change what you call rage. Tear this motherfucking roof off. Like, when he goes into that part, he's also elaborating on somebody who has made it out of that debacle that he was in in the beginning of the song. The palm sweaty. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, success is my only option. Failure's not. Mama love you, but this trailer's got to go. When he goes into stuff like that, he hits a whole nother target market with that. You got the, the sad, you know what I'm saying? Woe is me at the beginning, all the way to the, I came out, I'm triumphant at the end of this. It don't matter what you do. You could be a stock trader. You know what I'm saying? You done busted, you know what I'm saying? The bank. The last three trades you did all failed. And now you're thinking like, bro, I have to overcome this. You throw on this song, you're overcoming. You could have had three stocks go through the roof. And you put this on and you listen and you say, man, I made it. I knew success was my only option. All right. So from the whole spectrum of what uh, the emotions that this song evokes, we're going to have to go ahead and give it, I'm between, I'm between two, all right? I'm between two for this, all right? I'm between two, and I'm going to go with, ah, I got I got, I got to go with it. Like, I just don't see a time where you would play this and you don't feel it, all right? You could have lost a family member, and you put this on, and you want to triumph over that feeling. You could... Uh, just clothes on your house you just bought the happiest moment of your life all right the only time you probably couldn't play this is maybe at a wedding that that's all i could think of maybe at a wedding all right but listen we we had to go with s tier for this all right we had to go with s tier for this because i cannot see a time where somebody plays this song and you're not like this like sometimes there's happy songs that you're sad and you're like, bro, I'm not in the mood. That cause I'm happy, clap along with do do do. If you y'all remember that song, I know y'all did because they played it on the radio like there was no tomorrow. But when they played that song, you could be in a bad mood and say, turn that off, all right. And you could be in a happy song or in a happy mood, 
and the song come on like slipping, falling, can't get up. And you're like, bro, I'm not I'm not sad right now. I wanna I wanna listen to something happy. I'm trying to get lit. This you could play in your headphones by yourself, walking through the hallway. You could also play this in a, in, in a party full of people. Because the beat just does that to you. And it's a simple chorus. Everybody can sing along, wave their arms. This is the first S-tier song that we have given out. All right, The first S-tier that has been earned on this channel. But I'm pretty sure there's many more to come. But my explanation... I don't see a flaw in the song. If you feel like there's a flaw in the song and Big Hollis tripping, please let me know down below. Uh, but while you're down there, make sure you drop a crown because you've made it to the end of this video. And uh, MVPs watch the whole videos. And you did that, and you deserve your crown, so go ahead and drop that. If you want to participate in these videos, all you have to do is hit the notification bell and join when we go live, and you could be in here with the chat. But until the next time I see y'all, be out of here.